Welcome back to my channel, everybody. I am Winter. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, or don't. It's your life. I'm just happy that you came over to this side of the internet to spend a couple minutes with me. Now, we are taking a wealth journey together. That means that we are going to be focusing for the next six months on building up our wealth in our savings account. And the goal is $10,000. That's our goal. 10K, we're gonna achieve it in six months. Here's how we're gonna do it. First, I wanna share with you my money chart that I'll be following for me. Now, you do not have to follow this money chart in order to save $10,000 in six months. I will make multiple money charts available to you on how to save $10,000 in six months. Now, how am I going to be achieving this wealth journey? First of all, I'm going to be saving money weekly. That means every single week I'll be saving money according to this savings chart because that is the savings chart that I have decided to follow for myself, which I've already said, you don't have to follow it. If you would like to follow an alternative savings chart, I will provide alternative saving charts throughout the week. So make sure that you're following me on my Instagram and make sure you're following me on my Twitter where I will be posting constant updates about this wealth challenge and the alternative ways in which you can save $10,000 in six months. Now, we've gone over the wealth journey. We've gone over how much we're gonna save in six months. We've gone over how often we're going to be saving in these six months. We're saving $10,000. We're following, well, I'm following this savings chart and we're saving $10,000 in six months. So I'm really excited for all of you. I'm extremely excited for all of you to be joining me on this wealth journey because my ministry is honestly helping black women center themselves in this lifetime, okay? You're here, this is the reality, this is now. It's time for you to center yourself and get your finances in order. I'm not only speaking to all of you watching this video, I'm speaking to myself. I need to get my finances in order. I need to center myself. I am here. This is my reality. I deserve all good things. You deserve all good things. We deserve all good things. Okay? Okay. So, now, today's video is actually going to be addressing our privileges. Now, I know. When you're saving money, the first thought that comes to your mind is not what privileges do I have? Most of the time, for us, for us, when we begin a wealth journey that starts with saving a specific amount of money, we're not thinking about our privileges. We've actually started the wealth journey because we're thinking about our lack. Stop. Let's stop right there. Stop thinking about your lack. You lack nothing. I want to say it again. Stop thinking about your lack. You lack nothing. Stop thinking about your lack. You lack nothing. Because what's perfect about your life is that you are alive. And what is perfect about your life is that you are here and you are able to start making different choices to align yourself with your true purpose and what you're supposed to be doing. Okay. Now we all know that we need to have our ducks in a row. We need to have our finances together. Your finances are just one piece of this complete puzzle that is you. All right. So we're going to be addressing our privileges. I'll start. I'm going to address my privileges. So in this wealth journey, I'm going to be saving $10,000 in six months by saving $385 every single week for the next six months. Now, what is it that is helping me do this? And how can I use that to my advantage to maybe some weeks save even more money than my intended weekly goal? Well, I live at home. I live at home. So I don't pay rent. I contribute to the household, but I live at home. I also work from home. So that means I'm not having to spend much money on transportation or, you know, those little miscellaneous fees that come with working outside of your home. We don't think about it like that, but when you work outside of your home, there are a lot of fees you accumulate throughout the week, throughout your day, that are actually going towards you just being able to get to work and be at work comfortable to do the work. The way I think about it is like this. If you don't work at home and you have to travel from home, yes, the travel expense is where our mind immediately goes, but let's go deeper than the travel expense. For you to be comfortable at work, you're buying yourself a lunch to eat expense, okay? Think about it like that. For you to be comfortable at work, you might have bought yourself a back pillow so you can be more comfortable in the chair you're in 
an expense, right? Your job is not paying for that. You're actually using your income from your job, from what you're being paid, either weekly, bi-weekly, or salary, which means you might get paid quarterly um, or in eights, depending on your job. You're spending that money, right? So let's think about it. So my privileges that I've already stated are that I live at home and I work from home. Another privilege of mine is that I actually am a minimalist and I am gonna include that into a privilege of mine because being minimalistic and uh, embracing a minimalist lifestyle for myself has really helped me um, take control of my finances. I'm going to admit, I have not been that great at my finances since I've been an adult. So 18, I'm now 23 years old. If you consider that being an adult adult, that's good for you. I don't, I don't feel like I'm this whole full fledged well-rounded adult yet, but I am 23 years old, which means I am responsible for, you know, feeding and clothing and like taking care of myself, all my basic needs basically. Um, so by being a minimalist, that means that I actually don't spend too much money on too many things outside of, of really what makes me happy. So um, I experienced some things in my life, which I might go into later on, um, but basically, I experienced a lot of things that forced me to learn the art of detachment. I had to learn how to really become detached from my material possessions. I'm not saying you have to do this. I'm just saying that this is something that has helped me in terms of acquiring wealth and managing wealth and just like sitting with myself and understanding that if I want to be at a different place in my life, I have to change and I have to take steps to do that. And so one of those steps was learning the art of detachment um and becoming minimalist so you guys are going to see me wear a lot of the same outfits why i don't own that many clothes why i don't think i need to own that many clothes why because for what <laughs> and outside of what's going on in the world still for what for what i don't i just for what i like to dress in a very specific way um, and so I find pieces of clothing that will last me a very long time that will allow me to dress in that way for a very long time comfortably and sustainably and economically in a way that makes sense to me. So those are my three big privileges and those are again I live at home, I work from home, and I'm a minimalist. So those are my three big privileges. I want you to sit down with yourself and think about what are your three big privileges. And after you identify your three big privileges, try to list about 10 more privileges in your life that can help you save more money. And don't think that you have to get like super deep and like, you know, crazy with this. You don't have to at all. Like one of your privileges could be, I'm a really great cook. Okay. So that means instead of ordering out so much, maybe you should really look into cooking more meals for yourself and also look into sharing how you're preparing those meals with other people because that can turn into a second income, okay? So that's what I want you all to think about and focus and work on this week. I'm working on it as well for myself. I just wanted to come here and identify my three biggest, my three biggest privileges that helped me save and acquire money, okay? So this is a wealth journey. It's not a money challenge. Money is not challenging. Money is not a difficult thing to acquire. But on the journey of acquiring more wealth, there are steps you need to take. So this is a wealth journey. This is the first of many that I hope, well, no, change my language. This is the first of many that I know I'm going to be taking with all of you here. And this first one, we're saving $10,000 in six months and we're doing it together. We're following, well, I know that I'll be following this chart of $385 a week that I will be setting aside from my bi-weekly earnings because I get paid bi-weekly. Now, someone who gets paid weekly definitely has the chance and the opportunity to save far more money than I do because they're getting paid weekly and I'm getting paid bi-weekly, which means I need to budget my finances differently than a person who was getting paid on a weekly basis. Those are my three big privileges. Thank you for coming to this side of the internet to spend some time with me and I hope you found this video helpful. Again, my name is Winter. We are on a wealth building journey. We are going to save $10,000 in the next six months. I'm going to do it by saving $385 a week. How are you going to do it? Remember, like, comment, and subscribe, or don't. It's your life. I'm just glad you came over to this side of the internet to spend a few minutes with me. Thank you. Yeah.